In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can install WordPress on your Ubuntu server 22.04. Hello my name is Talha Ali and welcome back to my channel. In my previous video I showed you how you can simply convert your Ubuntu server into a web server using that you can make your own web server or even online file server to be available for users. Okay, so now we are going to install WordPress on the Ubuntu server. So first of all we are going to update it. And the next thing I'm going to install Apache too. You can find all the commands in the description. And the next thing is going to be MySQL server. I'm not skipping any step. So, make sure you watch completely otherwise you won't be able to install WordPress properly. Okay, my SQL server is successfully installed now. So, now we are going to secure my SQL. Just follow the steps what I do. Here you can choose according to your preference. I am setting low because I am just doing test to show you guys. Okay, now we are done with securing my SQL. Next we are going to install PHP packages. Installation has been completed for PHP packages. Now we need to restart the Apache service and create a database for WordPress after that. This is the command to create a database in MySQL. Next we are going to create a database user. You need to modify your user where it says WordPress user. And password as well. Now, we are going to give permission to that user for the WordPress database. Modify here your database name if you choose other than WordPress and the username. Then we are going to type this command flush privileges.
and then exit from MySQL. So we have completed almost 80% of the installation. Now we just need to download WordPress and modify the WordPress settings. So this is the command to download the latest version of the WordPress. Now we are going to extract the tar file. Here we are copying the configuration file of WordPress. After that, we need to edit WordPress configuration file to update the database information. So we need to update database name, database username, and the database password what we set while creating a database for the WordPress. Then press Ctrl X to exit and Y to save the file. Now we are going to copy WordPress files into our HTML folder. If you remember from my previous video that where we put all the websites file. Okay, let's change the ownership of the WordPress directory. And then setting up the directory permissions. Okay, let's verify the directory permissions. So here you can see this directory is under www data. Now let's remove the default index file from HTML folder. Okay, now type the IP address on your favorite web browser. If the WordPress is installed successfully, you should see this interface to install your WordPress for the first time. Let's install WordPress completely. Okay, so it's successfully installed now. Let's log in now to test.
So, all the installation process went very smoothly. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you click on the like button to appreciate my efforts. Also subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to be notified for my all upcoming videos. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video.